Good morning guys, what's cracking? We are starting off the video with breakfast, just got back from personal training. We've got six scrambled egg whites with a handful of spinach on a plain bagel. And what I like to do is I like to half my bagels and have one half like with a bit of sugar free jam on so it does a little bit for the sweet tooth. I've sort of decided we've got three, three and a bit weeks until we go away to Texas, so it's three and a bit weeks left of the car. And I've decided that I'm going to go back to trying to film as much footage as I can, piece together as many videos as I can, and just upload as much as possible. One, because I enjoy it, but two, to try and get as much content out there for you guys if you find it useful, entertaining. And then three, because I want to document this journey. This is the last few weeks of the cut. I know it's going to get pretty hard. I'm already tired. I had a refeed day yesterday. I'm still hungry which isn't ideal so i think for me it's good to document this journey and then i can look back on it so i hope you like that idea hope you're supporting the channel make sure you are hit that subscribe button give a video a like so i know you're supporting it and then let's enjoy this video yeah okay squad so like i said i haven't had so much energy in the gym recently Sunday I only did a cardio session, Saturday I was going to hit a push and it was a rubbish session and I had to cut it short so today I'm going to get hyped up on some pre-workout, I'm going to make the goat of all pre-workouts, let's do this. Step one, ice. Step two, half can red monster. Step three, one scoop of the goat's warhead. Just a level scoop, maybe just under. And then give it a nice stir. Okay, so now we just sip on the rest of this can. And then as soon as we hit the gym, get in there and start warming up, we'll see this bad boy off. Now, in terms of taste, this is absolutely phenomenal. Now I just hope it blows me head off and gets me through this leg day. See you in there. We've got squats going down. Exercise one. Let's do it. Okay, God, so, okay, squad, so I am hitting legs. Like I said, I've actually changed up to a low bar squat. You'd have seen that uh, just on that exercise. Reason being, I've had a lot of groin problems recently um, and I've laid off my squats, especially heavy, since going into a cut. And I just like fell into a low bar squat the other day and it felt all right. My shoulder release pretty good. So I've been squatting like that for a week and a half now. I've never gone as heavy as 100, but I've hit 100 today for three sets of six. I'm just trying to get the movement down. I know that my low bar form isn't perfect because I've never done it before, so any tips would be really, really helpful. But yeah, the movement feels a lot better, a lot less painful on any of my joints. The weight seems to be a little bit easier, but I'm not going to push super heavy. I'm just going to roll with it, assess it, and then after I finish this cut, maybe start low bar squatting as heavy as I can but yeah low bar squats have taken over from high bar squats and it feels pretty good so far let's go into the rest of the workout <laughs> Okay, that's the legs wrapped up with 45 minutes, oh my god, I can barely stand, with 45 minutes cardio. What is going on with this lid? Yeah, it was a wicked workout. That is exactly what I needed after the weekend of shit workouts. That was a really good workout. Like I said, numbers weren't too heavy on squats or legs. I actually only showed you a little bit. But yeah, really good session, and then I smashed a load of cardio. I actually burnt 1,300 cows, according to this little bad boy. Which is a very, very good little deficit to get into. Um, 
let's talk a bit more about low bar squats. So first thing to think about when swapping, if you're gonna think about trialing or swapping to a low bar is, you obviously unrack the weight lower down on your back. It's not on your traps, it's lower. So you might wanna adjust the height that you unrack it from. The past two times I've kept the height the same and it's been quite awkward to get back on. I've had to sort of go on my tiptoes. This time I took it a step lower and it was easier to unrack and then re-rack. So that was good. Um, obviously your back drops in slightly hot, slightly further when you're doing these low bar squats. So you need to make sure you're really tight on your upper body to stop that shoulders from caving in, causing uh, injuries and stuff like that. Obviously, like I said, I don't do low bar squats. I'm learning. Give me tips if you can, but these are tips I'm trying to put out there from that little, the little like the three sessions of experience that I've had. So this is what I like to come home to: the liver rooms. Hi, you. Boo hoo! Oh, that's not me, Louis. Flipping out. These are my pickups from my protein. So I was all out of creatine, and I generally think that might be one of the, re one of the reasons why I was feeling so drained. Just not having this, so uh, five grams of that a day. Turns out that if you buy it in a powder form rather than tablets, it's way, way cheaper, and I've been buying tablets for about three years, so that was a bit of a dead move. They had two for one, so that was 6 dollars I then got skinny bike things for free just to give you a little macros on these 1.5 fat 9 carb and 10 protein who's tried these for i might have a pack now give them a go and then they also put in this carb crusher bar which i had no idea about macros on this puppy 207 cows 11 carb 8 fat and 20 protein, 21 protein, so that's not too bad, I'll give that a try at some point. Right, let's show you what I'm making for lunch. Lunch was decent. What it is, I made sort of semi like a burrito bowl, filled it up with loads of veggies, loads of greens, and I had those hex sausages. Now I got a different set of hex sausages um, when I was at Body Power. They were lush, I don't know what the chicken zest or something like that. Really, really good. Uh, and I had some protein cheese with that. The one thing to know about the protein cheese is it goes out of date quite quick in terms of it goes a bit mouldy. So if you get some of that, eat it quick. Now, like I said, going to meet ads, uh, plan some more Texas bits, but I need a coffee. Let's text ads, see what the chances of him getting me a coffee are. Read that, that was fast. Oh, useless. He's about as useful as. Cheers. And we're back at home. Met Ads, sorted all that stuff. Some good plans for Texas. So I'm absolutely buzzing about that. So that's something to look forward to. Um, and I've actually already edited this whole video. We're at eight and a half minutes. So we're going to close it off here. I've decided that. I'm going to maybe start a little mini-series called Vlogmore. I quite like that name to be honest, but it's all about just trying to get as much content out there to you guys and get as much practice for me, editing, confidence in front of the camera, all that sort of stuff. More content and I just enjoy it. So if you like that idea, smash that like button. Hope you've liked this video. Look out for more. I'm going to pick up that camera again tomorrow and go again. So hope you've enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next one.